What is happening people? Hey guys, we back at the lake today. Uh, the water temperature is about 57, 58 degrees. And uh, we've came down to the lake and look at this pretty co water color right here. Man, this water color looks good. I'm, I'm on down the lake a ways. I am at Heiko Lake. And down here the water usually stays crystal clear. So since this water is this color, these fish ought to bite. So anyway, we're going to slide up. I'm going to try to show you some methods that I use to get fish to react uh, when you vertical jig and then drop a jig right down on top of them. Uh, I have a little twitch method. Pick up on the lure and you'll see the fish react to the lure. So, hey, this ought to be a fun video. Looking forward to doing it. So, hey, stay with us and let's go catch a crappy. That's a nice one right there, y'all. Woo, dope. Wild out the fishes. That's how we roll. <laughs> So a lot of this footage is going to be of the live scope and actually seeing the fish coming up and bite. Okay, the first thing is I've got, you noticed I've got my live scope set here about 40 feet out. Let's go down with the depth. It's actually 20 feet deep. When you set it, I like to be, I like to see the bottom contour. we're gonna do is we're looking out you see the fish is at 20 feet I can tell it looks like he's swimming away from us all right here he comes up now this pole is 10 feet I'm gonna lay the lure right out you should see the lure dropping right to him boom right above him is where I want it I want to twitch twitch and pick up on it boom got the fish is just as easy as that y'all Just as easy as that. So, let's find us another one. So, basically, right now it is prior to the spawn and crappy. Or there's some on the banks, but not a lot. So, a lot of crappy are scattered in the coves. That's what I found at Kerr Lake last week. So, we have two fish coming up on it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going I'm to zoom in on these fish. Forward range. Let's come up to about 28 feet. Okay. Now I'm going to try to I, I'm going to try to talk you through this. So the fish is out about 5 feet. I'm going to lower the lure right to them. If they are aggressive if those fish are aggressive actually I think I missed the fish. If you're live scope fishing, wind is not your friend. That is for sure. And lots of times, what I will do is if I'm just hunting fish in open water, now this is what I call hunting fish in open water. Alright, there's a fish at 15 feet, and the boat momentum is going forward, so when he gets out about 10, I'm going to try to keep um, a good target on him. And he looks like there's a little going down right there. Now I'm going to stop it just above him right there. Pick up on it just a little bit. See him follow it. See he's all over it. So I want to keep picking up on it. Taking it away from him. So I'm going to try to get him to eat it.
Remember when you live scoping, the day the wind's puffing pretty bad. As a rule of thumb, the harder the wind's blowing, the more weight you need. Uh, if the wind is puffing your boat around and you get a good signature on a fish, if you've got more weight on, you can drop that lure faster because you may only be have one chance to drop that lure right down on top of his head. And the more you can visualize and see with your live scope that lure falling to the fish, if you see the fish and the lure falling, see the lure falling to the fish, I'll get that right in a second. You see the lure falling to the fish, you're 90% better chance of actually catching that fish. I'm not saying they're going to bite and bite all the time, but if you can watch that jig fall right on top of that crappy, get him to turn. If he ever turns, twitch, start lifting it up, most of the time you'll catch that fish. So just remember that. And let's go back and look at this footage. Okay. There goes a jig down to a fish, or it just happens to be a fish there. Okay, so when I get it right over him, I'm going to put a little, just a slight twitch. See how small that twitch was? Just a slight twitch. Twitch. That's all. And I'm only going to do it once. Most of the time. Sometimes I'll do it twice to get it. If it's muddy water, I may do it twice to get him to swim over there. Just that little twitch. Now, let's zoom back out. Just that little twitch. Alright, he's at 10. We'll get a good mark. Drop right down on him. It always helps if you could see the lure and the fish. Boom, he got that. He hit the top one actually. Um, just a small fish, another small one. So anyway, let's talk about uh, what I'm using. I'm using my ACC crappy stick. This is a 10 footer and uh, utilizing a dual jig. There's that top jig, and there's that bottom jig. And uh, they've been reacting to the gray and the gray and black uh, fairly well today. And a uh, six pound test line, 1000 CN reel. And you know, it's entirely up to you whether you use uh, doing this, whether you use a rubber body jig, hair jig. I just happen to have the hair jigs tied on. And crappy in the last few weeks, has been reacting very well to uh, to hair jigs. So it's entirely up to you how you want to, uh, I mean, what lure you want to utilize when you are uh, doing this vertical jig and with the live scope. Alright, we got a pretty good drop on him. Sometimes you just have to anticipate, so we're going to twitch it. Boom! So you come right up there and hit it. That's what you want. A little twitch. He's about a 10 inch crappy. Alright, I'm going to try to demonstrate this. I hope I can. So, I, I just showed you that twitch method. So, if you like the vertical fish uh, with live scope, you really need to know this. Now, even if you know, if as long as you know the depth of the crappie, you can still use this same method. Just a little twitch, twitch, and then just raise the lure up. Now, if you don't have live scope and you can't see the fish, well, of course, you'll drop it back down. If you have any sort of depth finder, it'll tell you what depth or fish are, are at. But this little method will create more bites. So basically I'm twitching my hand. Just twitch. And it's and it's more of a twist of the hand to send vibration down the rod. Now I've seen some, you know, uh, tournament fishermen pop the rod like this. I guess it's the same principle. I've never got used to popping a rod like this, but I'm using my hand. Just a, just a slight twitch. You just want that lure to shake. Now I want you to think about a minnow. Now how does a minnow swim? He vibrates and he scoots forward. Vibrates, scoots forward. Or either he dives down. That's one reason crappy will hit a lure going down. It's it like it's dying. So if I got a hold of my rod here, it's just a, a slight twitch. You 
don't want to work your lure like this. That usually does not uh, work. So, once the crappie, you twitch. If you get his attention and he comes to the lure, he's either going, if he don't bite it, lots of times he'll come on and he'll bite it. If he don't bite it, then you're going to start lifting the rod slowly. Lifting that rod slowly. Now, if you have live scope, you can watch him come along and after he moves a little bit you might can stop twitch but you'll start bringing that lure up just keep on raising as long as he's following keep on raising it and sometimes he'll follow it up five or six feet a lot of times he'll go on and bite if you leave him alone a lot of times he'll come over that mouth and then you won't get a hook in but that is a great method it's been a lot of fun this afternoon uh, to come in these coves and to chase these fish around one another thing helps when you're uh, live scoping. It helps if the fish are cooperative. Lots of times if you get the lure close to a crappie, he'll come over there and bite. I mean, he'll thump it pretty good, and that's, that's always real good. it float right across his head give it a little twitch give it a little twitch like this you see him move right up to the lure and BAM catch the fish that's that's kind of exciting fishing uh, anyway I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned today uh, that little technique if you can perfect it will make you a much better fisherman lots of times uh, as I've learned over the years, if I didn't learn that little twitch and then pick up on it, the fish would just sit there and look at it. That little twitch looks like a dying minnow, an injured minnow. Uh, if you ever watch the shad dying, he'll quiver on the top, quiver on the top, quiver on the top, and then he'll start falling. So just that little action uh, that you put into the rod and into the lure will create more strikes for you, and uh, I hope that works for you. Hey guys, uh, we're going to end this video. I hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. I hope you've seen something in the video that you enjoyed today. Uh, I'll, anyway, you remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget, forget to hit that subscribe button below. We appreciate all the subscribers we have, and we appreciate uh, any comments that you make. We all can comment on the channel. I like to see your comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.